Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, I've missed a few. Back. Yeah. It's good to see welcome you. Welcome back. So Absolutely. sorry about the loss in your family and yeah. all. You know, it's that's a rough time. Darn cancer. Yeah. But um, doing good and uh, good. excited, looking forward. Good, good to see you guys. It's yeah. been fun getting into spring and summer. Yeah, it's summer officially this weekend. I oh, think. I summer solstice. Yeah. Right. Father's Day, summer solstice. Tonight is uh, the on. The concert start, series the, starts. The concert series starts tonight. There's a children's program that starts at 6, and then at 7 is the regular concerts. And then the, after tonight, they start on the Sundays. And okay. they are out on the, at the uh, gazebo? The Common, yeah. yeah the Common. I've yeah. never, you know, I've never gone. I may go tonight. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we've done it a bunch. Over the years. Last yeah. year, they had a great one. Uh, just fun groups. Fun so groups. you'll be seeing all that information we coming up out. Going to, um, I don't know if you guys remember the old Sharper's World that had the Dome and Jordan yeah, Marshall. Yeah. When I was a kid, they used to do Friday night concerts there. Oh. And my parents used to show up with lawn chairs and all that. And you, you never think now. You would never let your kids just, but we would be like, you know, seven, eight, nine years old. We're wandering around this whole place and sure. coming back. And you know, your parents give you like $2 to go get candy and ice cream <laughs> and stuff like that. Meet us back here at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Stuff, but yeah. So, so, so the same thing replicated here, just yeah. out on and our so small, small town We've done it a few green. times with the family. Yeah. So sometimes it's a little bit young for my kids now, but we still go. So that's fun. But you get in the mood to play right. in the summer. I well, mean, just and, all and of us. tomorrow is the uh, breast cancer swim ah. against the tide. Yeah, and that's at Hopkins State Park. And um, then the Timlin race, race, which is huge yes. in town. And Abby Rosenberg's been running that for years here with um, Timlin, who used to be a yep. Red Sox yep. team. And... Yep. Um, that's tomorrow morning, and that takes off at the middle school okay. and that whole campus and stuff, um, and runs around that whole neighborhood. They actually painted the starting line a few days ago on the street. Oh, yeah. Um, what about this? Just rewind a little bit. The swimming thing at State Park. What is that? I've never. I don't know um, about that. Oh, that, Emerson did that years ago. That's against it's a the ties. Okay. Um, awareness and fundraiser, it's, and it's, it's a swim. I think they also it's, it's, let you... It's swim, walk, and run. Yeah. Mm. So it's, oh, okay. it's, a, it's, a, um, they're a, the, it's against the tides is raising money or get for healthy organic research against breast cancer. Yeah. Oh, that's and, a cause and, and, and can stuff. get behind. And they're headquartered out of the Cape, and they do this event every year for the Cancer Coalition, the uh, Mass mm. Breast Cancer Coalition. Yeah. Healthy ways to deal with it. That's and healthy a, that's ways. A so it's actually thing. another 5K going on in another part of town. <laughs> we have the Timlin 5K on one side. Wow. Um, there's a cabbie open house in Sandy Morrow's. There's a big town um, at Town Hall. There's a selectance meeting that's getting a lot of attention next week. Oh, yes. And yeah. stuff like that. CBS um, is Hot sure. Acoustics is playing at Fireflies oh, tomorrow yeah. night. Absolutely. Steve Spector, local. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Hopkintonian. Um, right. And we um, should mention Swoon is having their uh, celebration, and they're going to have they're going to be getting rid of all the summer things over the next cool. few weeks. So they, there's some things coming up. They're getting out. rid of summer things just at the start of summer. Well, well because there's, they've already the bought for season. fall. That's the way yeah. the fashion works. Like that, you I know. I hated it. <laughs> I would go, like in August, to buy a bathing suit because I was head on vacation, and you can't buy them. Right. So, well, it so benefits. Now I've learned, yeah. You know. But it benefits us. It's early in the season, mm -hmm. and the deals are going to yeah. come out. So I'm excited because yeah. I've become a yeah. regular. Daughter. It looks like we're getting a couple steps closer to you know the library happening. Last oh, night was um, yeah. the historic um, meet districts committee, and they gave the blessing for the new library. Oh. I shared with you guys some of the drawings and stuff yeah. like that, and then stuff, and they've. Taking a lot of time to scale it down, make sure that the roof lines actually match up to the yeah. original. Mm -hmm. They're restoring the the original two buildings in the front using materials that they need to, and then the new stuff in the back will mm -hmm. almost match. Oh, beautiful. And the, the peaks and everything else will match really well. That's um, nice. And they've worked very well, it seems like, with the abutters and everything. They've so done a great job. The historic job. Di district last night gave it a, a, you know, a positive nod, so that should right. be something happening and yeah right. hopefully they put a shovel to the ground in the fall oh really so when and do they, they anticipate and they found, and they know, found an alternative library location oh, um so, that's so that will move to the library once okay. they have to shut down everything and move everything it'll move to south street and i believe okay. it's going to be like 239 south street um they'll have two locations at this one site mm -hmm. and um suffolk law school donated 75 shelving units 
that um, really, really nice ones that will mm -hmm. go over to the temporary thing for all, all everything. Um, so it's a big it's doings. a big process to well, move. This and whole then facility. Wednesday is the pink drink night. Yeah, I'm really going for you guys yeah. all going to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're going going. forward to that. Which is a segue into then the following night, Thursday. Yes, it's is the, the is one of our events. June twenty fifth. It's hosted by the Real Hopkins and Housewives Facebook page, and I just think you know something really different. We've had some successful events just sort of naturally, but um, but this is you know designed to help us have some fun. Well, it's a fundraiser for the Y, mm -hmm. and so all the money goes to the Y for camp scholarships, which is huge, mm -hmm. really really huge. So even if you can't come. Register because your money goes to the Y. But come, yeah. and it's not and it's not an expensive <coughs> event. It's twenty dollars. Right, yeah. right, right. You know, right. It's, it's a twenty dollar donation to the Y, and you're going to get a fun, you know, a fun, experience. Yeah. Well, it's, it's early evening, so yes. you know, it's, you know, four four o'clock to about seven. Then we're going to all go out to have some five, five o'clock. Starts at five. Yes. Okay. Ah, <laughs> okay. I have to early. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get some party. Uh, yeah, you five o'clock. Yeah. Actually, it's actually, actually we have check in at four forty five uh, to seven o'clock. Right, okay. Check in is at four forty five. We'll run till seven o'clock and then anyone who wants to join us later, we're gonna have space reserved on the deck at TJ's right. and get burgers and beers. But I mean the whole theme of it and I think the two of you guys right. have done some definitely speaking on this issue is about being brave. Being so brave. Right, right, right. You right. had a quote too about yeah, being brave. Well, Exactly. I think we're all, you know, as we deal with whatever we're dealing with and, you know, good, bad, you know, um, needing to sort of buck up and gear up to do what we have to do sometimes. I don't know about you, but I've always sort of given, sometimes, I think everybody does this, gives yourself a pep talk. If there's something you're about to do that's a little bit challenging or maybe you're uh, not certain of and, you, you know, you just have to sort of buck up to do it. And um, this had me thinking about um, some work I've been doing with uh, in my consultant practice um, and some techniques that I'm using and suggesting to other people and one is about really creating your power mantra you know your the words that you say to yourself to gear up and you know I have a couple of quotes here that sort of get you the th thoughts about doing that so you know most people have heard this the greatest danger for most of us is not that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it is too low and we reach it. Well, and that often goes with you know some of the seminars I run where I talk about if you don't make mistakes, you're playing it safe. Right, and right. And it's the whole bit of you have to try to do things you haven't done before. Right, right. And frequently, we tend to raise our hand when we know we're going to be successful. We being women. Women. Mm -hmm. We tend to take on projects when we know we're going to succeed. Right. And so in your theme of the power mantra and kind of being brave and also aiming too low right. versus aiming high enough. And, and, and so what if you don't? Right. What did you learn? Right. And then Where did you go? What did you And you got a little closer to the goal. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's not settling. It's, it's, sorry, it's, it's not, not settling. settling. It's I think not it's settling. not settling. Saying, "Well, this is comfortable," or "It's good enough." Right, right. It's being able to strive for the next level. And oftentimes we aren't. Granted, this is going to be <laughs> out of my comfort oh, I zone, know. and That's it's very much out of my comfort zone. Right. So, what we talk about, what we're going to do at yeah, it. Yeah, well, exactly. The point being, though, is they have all various levels there. Right. And but we haven't said well, what we those levels yet. So, what so what are we doing? What ropes, are we doing? The ropes course and the rock climbing wall, I know, are for sure. And the rock climbing wall, of course, has things that are as simple to as difficult because they gear it for various age groups. Right. And it's all, you're, you have a spotter, you're on belay, you're on a rope, so there's no, you're not going to fall or anything. Right, right. And then the ropes course has a simple and a difficult, and you can go try the simple first, and then, and this is the other thing about being brave. Don't necessarily go all the way here. Take one step outside of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, and, and then do that. And then, okay, well now you did that, why don't you do it again, and do, do this, and see. So, you feel challenged by this, and you're mm -hmm. a little intimidated by it. What are you, what's going to help you try something different? Us being there, we'll all do it together. Well, I, I guess having my friends, everybody be here. I guess having my friends, I guess having my friends there. 
I mean, I think there's also going to be like zip line and maybe some archery and things yes. like that. And so it might be that I start on something like archery and things like that. I mean, I've, I've done archery one time in my right. life, and that's because right. Melissa Me really wanted to do it. And there was a place in Foxborough we went down that does indoor archery. And I'd never picked up a bow and arrow in my life. Well, I'm, you know, I'm and not I pretty much f***ed at it, but... <laughs> well, you don't have to be an athlete to do this. I mean, yeah. it's really going to be light, fun. You can push yourself as much as you want. Just, an, you know, we're going to be outdoors. It's going to be different than our normal, you know, wine and cheese and, yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of... Although, yeah, it's, and, it's fun. And the, the goal of it is, and, and kind of a little bit back to what you were talking about, mm -hmm. the power mantra uh, again, but... Um, we do, as women, tend to play it safe. We do tend to do things that we are in our comfort zone. And there are a variety of reasons why we do that. And we need to teach ourselves to just go a little bit beyond. Because that's how you learn. That's right. how you grow. That's how you have great success. And so Absolutely. this whole bravery theme is sort of in my theme this year. And I've shared some things and sort of my way of being brave, and it's mm -hmm. not, you asked me about my power mantra the other day, and I don't, I didn't really have one, but I will draw lines in the sand. Mm -hmm. So I'll tell people I'm gonna do something, and then it make, means I have to do it, because then right. I have to report back to them. But talk but about start, this whole power. Well, I will, because, you know, the thing, things, um, it starts with your own thoughts about what it is you wanna do. And I don't mean by this particular job or whatever, but you know, at some point, you just begin to think about your, your purpose, um, and you, you decide, you know, what is it, what difference do you want to make in the world, and even in the sphere that you're in. And it doesn't have to be, family, it can be your friends, family, your friends, your that particular work. day. Yep. Um, and when you think about being powerful, which is sort of a big word, I mean, you know, we th I mean, I never think I'm powerful, you know, I'm just this one human being just doing my daily do. But when you think about the power that you have, and you got a heck of a do. I do. Oh, I. Summer do. Summer do. Summer do. Exactly. Humidity do. <laughs> Drop the red. You are so funny. But um, we're powerful as mothers. We're powerful as you know co-providers in our in our household. We're powerful in the as way that friends. we as friends. These are the ways that we we really um, show ourselves. And sometimes we don't say everything we need to say. Um, we don't do everything that we wish we could. And sometimes we have to inspire ourselves and, some, and not let our own self-consciousness hold us back. I and that, I think that comes from our need to be perfect or to do, you know, only do what we know we can do well. When you push yourself, you discover what else you can do. Right, right. Yeah. Well, and, and getting comfortable with being a little bit outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And, and um, you don't have to, I mean, good for you if you do take that big giant leap, but it's taking a little step. So yeah. it's gonna be for you trying that climbing wall that is not something you were looking forward <laughs> to. <laughs> but the thing is, you're not, we're not making you go 50 feet up in the air. You go as far as you want. You try it a little bit, come back down, you see how you feel. Maybe you try a tougher route. And, and it's all about just a little bit outside. So whatever you so, end up saying to yourself to gear yourself yeah, up. Yeah, what do you say your, to yourself? Oh, yeah, what do you say when you normally are trying to do something? get yourself fired up for something? Do you do one? Or I don't know. It's do we, like a, yeah. Well, I, 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 I actually wanted to get back to the event for a second. Oh. I was like, I want people to know how to register and how to sign up. Oh, oh. Yes, so if indeed. you're not on the Real Housewives page, I'm actually going to get it over to HCAM, and we'll get it posted up on the HCAM site. And we'll also be able to share this probably on um, our own Facebook pages. Yeah. So yeah. Um, check it all out. There is an Eventbrite link to sign up for. Um, it's only $20. You come out for a couple hours and have some fun. And I think that's how I'm going to get through it. Is yeah, like yeah, I have yeah. friends with me. I'm mm -hmm. going to have to push through it. And you know what? I'm, and I'm doing something good for an organization for in my community. Yes. That's right. Well, exactly. And, and I think that's one of it is um, when you think about sometimes You were asking me my power mantra, and I was sort of struggling with it, and, I, and this is definitely something I need to work on. I do um, certainly draw from the support of friends. Mm -hmm. And like I said, sometimes I draw that line in the sand and that causes me to cross over. But there have been times where I I talk to myself, I talk to myself in the car. Shock, yes. Well, shocker. <laughs> like and the I'll rest of the world. Like, mm -hmm. Put your big girl panties on. You <clears> can <throat> do this. You know, uh, you, you know yeah. everybody puts 
their shoes on one at a time, you know. It, it's, it's like I, I, I demystify the thing that I'm scared about and, and tell myself how I am uh, qualified to Absolutely. do what I'm doing. Absolutely. And, yeah, and I think I really, you may not be conscious, but you're doing that, you know, at times. And I, and I think we're all doing it. Like, I mean, the three of us, this was not our comfort zone a year and a half ago. <laughs> really? I mean, this, came, this came up. It was an opportunity. And, you know, being able to share with you guys, you people still, every week. When I but, but, you know, every, chair, every time. I did not like it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but, you know, Honey. And I think every time we sit, sit down and get mic'd up. I still get a little bit of an anxiety. There okay, you what are we going to yeah. talk about? Right. And somehow I push through it. It's like, all right, conversation starts flowing and we go. That's and a I think great that's, example, And I think darling. that's how things like trying rock climbing or zip lying and stuff like that, you know, or when you meet new people, mm -hmm. it just, it happens exactly. because you've got support around you and it works. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, just um, in terms of how to create a power mantra, it's really an affirmation statement. And I'm just a couple of, you know, brief instructions. So you want to keep it short, so seven or eight words, ideally. Okay. So you want to cut out any unnecessary words, so like disclaimers or uh, explanations when you're coming up with your mantra, because it's really just a minimum is statement. It, is it like an I am statement? Yes, my next thing. Language of 100% responsibility. So you say I am or I choose or I will, the types of things. Um, like that. Phrase it in the positive. So it's always, you know, what you're going to be doing in, a, in the affirmative. And it can be aspirational. And you're supposed to get that funny feeling in your stomach because I, you know, so if you say something like, I am powerful or I am courageous, you know, it, it creates a little feeling if you say that about, you know, you as you the do. the Katy Perry song <laughs> oh, or, <laughs> or get the song in your head. But, you know, it, sounds, it may sound hokey as I'm describing this, but you pra if you practice it, you will start building something, you will feel it. And um, this group comes in your inner knowing. Inner you will, knowing. In your inner knowing, it'll start building um, a different kind of confidence. So I encourage everyone to have a power mantra. A power mantra. Power mantra, something that makes you feel powerful. You don't even have to tell anybody what it is. Interesting, I like that. I like so I'll that. be using it when I'm thinking about rope climbing, because the picture, I mean, you know, you can be hanging high and, you know, I mean, this is, because people don't know necessarily what rope climbing is, right? Well, well, so rock I mean, climbing, or rope, you're on the a ropes, rope, other. but you're using the walk. Then right. there's the ropes course, which are ropes that you climb, and and it's a various um, with bridges, and there's it's like a rope one. jungle gym. Yeah. Oh, it's like okay. A rope All right. Gym. Yeah. Okay. And and you you know one's like a cargo net that you climb up. Okay. And, and so it's different things, but. Different ones have different levels of difficulty, and you. So you're gonna wear rugged stuff like sneakers and. Yeah, you you're should. gonna make it a little dirty. Yeah, do, not, do not wear heels. Okay. <laughs> or white pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but again, if you are someone who says, "Well, I'm not," you know, "I'm not physically fit," or you know, "I'm not." Um, uh, yeah, great you know, shape or something. Mm -hmm. person, don't let that. I mean, just come and explore, and there is no criteria. Just showing up. Right. be you getting outside of your comfort zone. To meet right. new friends. Exactly. To meet new, new friends. friends. Right. Come it, support the Y, make new friends, and if you want, try these things. And if, if you, you don't, don't want, hang out. Hang out. It'll and be cry blast. with me in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and I'll be there cheerleading. And, and I, I, You're going to climb and well, do. Oh, I've done a bunch of this stuff. Okay. I, I, you know, I took a rock climbing class in Yosemite. I've, oh. done, I've never done it. Town or stuff like that, but I've done some difficult rock mm. climbing, and, and and this is a rock climbing walk, so it's all set up for yeah. you. This, you know, whereas I've done the the. I'm looking um, for the taller one. It might have like little bear <laughs> paws. <laughs> <and little laughs> <bear laughs> <bear laughs> <bear laughs> did well, you see what was really cool? Well, I don't know if you know. Is um, Jerry Holland got um, totally off subject here now. Um, <laughs> at the town hall, she got an old um, election ballot machine, yes. and she took it to. Elmwood School, and they hosted a real election yesterday, and the kids voted on what the new dog tag shape would be mm -hmm. and what the ta what the bench would yes. be at the school. And they went through, and they had to fill in the ballots, right? And they oh, counted sure. them. And so the new dog tags will be the shape of a dog biscuit, and the new bench going in at Elmwood will have um, they had a choice of a gorilla, 
a couple yeah, other just, things. The gorilla wand. Right. A regular bench, a gorilla, and like two other things. But how powerful that those those kids and at Elmwood School, just, you know, they their vote mattered. Yeah, and, and they, they brought in decisions. And they brought in the, um, you know, the people you check in for, for the election, yes. all the, like the punkies and all all those people were there. So they actually had to go up and say, like, what class they were in. They look up their name, check. They got oh, their right. ballot. Oh, cool. And I think that's a really neat way to get them to under, and then to understand how important your vote matters. You are, that's so funny you mentioned that. I'm so glad you did because that's just an ingenious thing that Jerry did. And I just learned about that too yesterday. And I got to give a shout out to our lovely town. I lost my debit card apparently in the middle of the street running errands on our little walk yesterday. Don't you know someone turned it in to town center. Jerry's office called. So I went there to pick it up. And, you know, I didn't even know I was missing it. So and I went in there, and she was all excited about what she had just done. And so it, I was like, oh, does everybody know about that? She's so passionate about civic process and responsibility, and it's just a really inspiring thing. Well, and, and getting the kids engaged at that level is so key because, and, and this comes back to um, how we as individuals um, create values. And at that age, they are wide open, whereas exactly. when we hit our age, we start to have voices that tell us what we can't do, what we can do, or we'd like to do it, but you don't like it, and I'm afraid to do it because <laughs> you have a value and I might offend your value, um, or my, what my parents think I should do, or what my children think. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and when you start to ask questions, um, there's this concept around uh, problem solving. And they actually combine children with adults mm -hmm. to solve problems because children do not have some of the filters. And I say That's value true. as in a way of, of rules. Mm -hmm. And so when the questions are asked, they don't know that certain things shouldn't or can't happen. I just thought a real and, interesting and, TED talk on that very thing and, with kids yes. at different ages, how they make decisions, moral decisions, based on and, and the so, filters they have. And so when you fast forward to like what we're doing the next week, we place values that is if you took us as our eight or nine year old selves, right. we would be all over doing this. Oh, and sure. We would be all over doing it. And, you know, we might have some fears and concerns, but we would be far more enthusiastic. Whereas now doing this next week, a bunch of us are saying, Oh, I'm scared. I can can't. I? Right. I don't. I never have. Right. Um, what if? Whereas a kid, it was recess. And it was like, yay. And, <laughs> and so I think that's really the point of next week is to have a little bit of comfort and support. Mm -hmm. Give yourself permission to try something a little bit beyond and then use that, it's a transferable skill set into your everyday life of now taking what you just did and accomplished, now trying it right. in your everyday life of just going a little bit Absolutely. beyond your comfort zone. And I would just say, you know, what Jerry did in terms of inspiring those kids, introducing them in that creative way, that's using her powers, her knowledge, right. her passion. That's the combination. That's really what the power juice is, what you know and what you care about doing, applying that you lose a little bit of your fear when you are approaching it from what you want to do. But she, she also wanted to make it the same as what their parents are doing, yeah. where they had to be able to follow directions. Yes. Yeah. And how often do we get a piece of paper and we don't read it or know to turn it over? So she made, they were voting on two things, so the dog tags and the bench. Mm -hmm. But she wanted to make sure that they read at the bottom line, turn this ballot over, mm. because you voted on one, and then at the end your voting was completed. How often do we go in, we vote for the candidates, and don't realize on the, uh, you know, the, the next page of the ballot, other right. side of the ballot has the questions. Right, right, And you'll, right, right. you know, at the, this past election, people are like, there were questions on the ballot? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, it says turn over for questions on ballot, but she goes, I did everything the same to see what they, she goes, they all turned it over. Okay. Where we don't. Yeah, we, I we, know. Well, like, we're fast, we know what we're doing. Yeah. She goes, and they, she goes, but they were already pre-prompted. It's like, okay, this is how you're going to do it. So yeah, I pulled up the thing. It was a buddy bench, a gorilla bench, an elephant, or a bug bench. The gorilla won, and then for the dog tag, they had a choice of a dog bone, a dog house, or a uh, like a round circle. So this and bench will be at the school, I it'll guess. It'll be at and the, the school. The dog tags will be what people Fun. get. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, it's a neat thing, and they got to pick what 
is going to be in their courtyard and what the but for the dog tag that's a town wide that's a town wide thing Everybody yeah they just picked it. it yeah that is Love awesome it. that is awesome so what else is happening? This was Father's Day this weekend, yeah. and uh, a lot of shout out to all the wonderful dads. Yeah, happy gonna be Father's Day. Happy today. Father's Day, whether you're a dad or you've happy got a Father's dad. Happy Father's Day, Sal. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I said Happy Father's Day, Sal. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But, um, so that'll it, be fun. You know, and there's, there's a lot going on. I mean, um, in the next couple weeks, school ends next week. Tonight oh, yeah. is the freshman, sophomore cotillion. Oh, okay. You know, I know that you know, this class... Uh, the eighth grade kids just got back from DC. Oh, yeah. You know, freshmen are heading off to Six Flags next week, but school ends in a week. Oh yeah. Oh. So they're they're I'm loose and about. about. Yeah. Um, Sandy Beach officially opens next weekend. So I mean, state I, I, park I, is officially yeah. open. Oh, we saw the state park officially oh. open last week. It was a Big line to get in here. there. I want to do a boating out in one of these. Days. We should get kayaks. That's fun. I love doing that over well, there. Well, I have kayaks. Yeah, you've got kayaks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live with kayaks. Oh and yeah. Stuff like that. I'll have to come over to your house. I know, but I want to I want to row the boat. So they say. And you know the the, uh, the the art center is coming along beautifully. We walked by it yesterday. It is the, an exquisite structure. We're going to have to do an event there. Yeah, exactly. That's got to be a future event, right? And maybe yeah. fall or winter. Yeah. So oh, this has been fun. Yeah. Just catching up and glad to be back and Welcome look forward summer. to seeing everyone. Hopefully at As the a, event at the Y Thursday next week on the twenty fifth. Yeah. Come out, and have some fun. We hope to see you there. Yeah, All hope right. to see you. Happy summer. Thanks. See you soon.